everyone, it's Caitlin here. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and I do encourage you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Now, today's video is actually an unboxing of the Moda Maven Royal and Lang Langnickel, I believe, <laughs> professional makeup brushes. So I'm going to be unboxing what I have in this box for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Tons of brushes, super affordable. I'm, I think there's like a sheet of paper in here. Yeah, there's a sheet of paper in here that explains all the brushes and all of that. And I will also link in the description bar down below the direct links for these products, these brushes. Um, I'm not going to be actually like testing them out, but I will be showing you and giving you an up close view of the brushes. So I guess let's get started. Alrighty, so let me just make sure that I can see what you guys are talking to me about. Okay, we got that going. Awesome. So, I currently have zero people watching right now, so there's really no point in me opening this up yet. So, I will... Mm, mm, bro, you're doing crazy things. Come on, bruh. There we go. Alrighty. So, this wig is doing all wild things right now. Like, I ain't got time to tape you down. Like, what is, what is going on here? Seriously, can't you just, like, stay down? No? No, you just want to do your own thing? Okay, do your own thing then. Real-time views on my phone. Sorry if this is boring right now. Just getting everything set up so you guys can watch. I want to make sure that I can see what you guys are typing at the same time. There we go. Oh. Really, people? Really, did this seriously just happen? Okay, I'm going to have to restart this. Sorry, just give me a second. I'm going to have to restart this live stream. Messed up my settings. Alrighty. Hi everyone, it's Caitlin here. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and I do encourage you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Now, today's video is going to be an unboxing of the Moda Maven Royal and Langnickel Professional Makeup Brushes. These are super affordable, super awesome quality, and they are super pretty. So I'm just going to be sharing them with you all. Now, let me just make sure that my video is going good. Everything is working okay. The quality is where I want it. Let's just make sure. Alrighty. I think the quality is okay. Let me know if it's if it is high definition like 1080p. Let me know in the in the chat. I'm not sure if it is, but let me know. Because I just have my phone here to see. Why are you not going in 1080p? It says that you are. Video output, 1080p. Thank you. Thank you. 1080p, 1080p. Sorry. I just want to give you guys the best quality video I possibly can. There we go. 1080. 
Let's do this quality. Is this good quality? I'm not sure. I got four people watching, but none of you are actually talking to me and letting me know how my video is. It'd be great if you could go in the live chat and tell me how it looks. Yeah. If not, oh well. Thanks anyways. Okay. So get this wig looking all right. Got my shirt on. I should have straightened this wig. It's kind of, kind of eh. Oh well. Alrighty, so this is what I've got for you. I have the Moda Maven PR Boxing. So there is influencer brushes in here that I'm super excited to open up and touch and show you what they actually look like. Shall we get into it? Without further ado, I give you the Moda Royal and Lane Nickel brushes. Not all of them, just some of them. Okay, so we open this bad boy up. And first we are greeted with a Moda. Thank you so much for becoming a Moda Maven. We hope you love your new brushes and can't wait to see all the beautiful things you create with them. XOXO, Moda Mavens. So, the first thing in this is the welcome box just for you. We've included the Moda Prismatic two-piece precision powder kit. We have the mythical five-piece perfecting pixie kit, the heart scrubby cleaning pad, the total face flip kit, and mythical six-piece star travel kit. So that is everything that is included in this PR box. And I'm just going to tell you guys the prices and show you actually what they look like. Let's take a peek. So it's got this super cute, like, dotted, metallic y, duochrome wrapping paper. Super cute. And opening it up. There we go. So, let me get into here. Well, hello there, everyone. My mic is low? Okay, how about I put it right by my face? How's that? Is that better? Is that better for the mic? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? How about now? Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, this is the Moda Maven unboxing of their brushes. Just some of them. So, the first one that I'm showing you is this Heart Scrubby. So, this is the first thing. Little information about this. This is the Heart Scrubby Cleaning Pad. It retails for $5.99. The Moda Tools Heart Scrubby was designed to gently help remove stubborn makeup with cosmetic brushes. Uh, just use gentle shampoo and buff the brushes into the heart. The heart shape fits snugly in your hand or in the sink for easy cleaning. So you can hold it, you can put it at the bottom of the sink and just scrub your brushes right there. I'm not sure why it's so low. Like, I have the audio all the way up. It should be loud. Like, on my settings, it's all green right before it goes yellow and sounds too harsh. Uh, maybe the audio output's a little weird. Nope, everything's, everything's good. I did drop my mic, like, a few days ago, so that might have something to do with it. Because on this, it's got this little twisty... Thing. What am I trying to say? God. It has a screw top. There we go. Light bulb. So it's got a screw top, and the other day when I was trying to like twist it around, I ended up, ended up dropping it. And yeah. 
something's rattling inside of it, but this bitch is too poor to buy anyone. So I will work with broke ass shit. <laughs> okay. So the next brush is the. Do you want me to like open these up and actually like get close and show you guys what they are? Let's try that. Okay, so like I said, oh, it's weird. It's making my ears hurt. Ugh. Okay. So. Whoopsie. <laughs> so, opening this up. Ow, 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 ow. Why? Why would you hurt me? Okay. I'm going to have plastic everywhere. That's just, that's, that's just, that's my life now. That's how this goes. Okay. So on the back of this, it's got engraved, like, into it, the Emoda. Why can I not speak today? I just, I can't speak today. I don't know what is wrong with me. But, okay. So on the back here is the Moda logo. There we go. Logo and name right there. And on the front, it's got all these little feely pads. Just little knobs. <laughs> Knob. Yeah, and you can just br wash your brushes with it. Like put it in the bottom of the sink, hold it in your hand, and just scrub a dub dub to the stuff that you have. This could be like a little ASMR moment. It's like. Oh yeah, I bet that sounds awesome. <laughs> if that's weird, I'll just stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll stop right now. Okay, this is not meant to be like ASMR shit. The next thing that I am opening for you is the Moda Mythical Five Piece Perfecting Pixie Kit. So this is what it looks like. It's actually a really super cute packaging. It's got like the holographic sparkle look to it. So on the back, right here, let me just say what we've got. So we've got the powder brush. We've got a brush. So for like blush, bronze, shimmer, set your makeup with this brush for a stunning complexion. Then we got the highlight brush, which is perfect shape and density for getting a luminous glow on your cheeks and nose. Precision angle, add shadow to the lid or contour your crease or nose with this angled blending brush. And then we have an angle liner. So it's very, very fine tip angled brush for lining eyes or defining brows with precision. So I'm going to open this one up and show you up close what they look like. Let's get this open. I hate, like, I like how cute plastic packaging is, but I hate trying to open it because, like, it's so scratchy and I already, like, busted my finger. Like, I almost, I'm almost bleeding right there. Look at that. I'm almost bleeding right there because of it. Okay. Okay. It's like those things where you see the jack-in-the-box and then that thing of pastry pop like that twisting thing that's like the adult equivalent it's like one of those things it just scares me because it's gonna hurt me and god i can't get this open okay we're just we're ripping it now get out oh and it comes with a makeup bag too oh i guess i could have saw that right there comes with the makeup bag there as well I didn't notice it until I opened it up and saw it behind it. Okay, so here is the super cute Moda bag. It is the same sparkly holographic color as the packaging, which is super cute. It's a plastic, but it seems and feels durable. It doesn't feel like it would crack too easily. Nice zipper, and the inside is like a nice material that you can wipe makeup off of. So if there gets makeup in it, you can just easily wipe it down. Now the brushes, <laughs> I don't want to be too perverted, but they are ribbed for your pleasure. Hmm. 
<laughs> it is like this like full glass see-through thing. Let me try to get the focus on there. Yeah. It's like glass. Keep, keep trying to focus on my face. Focus on this. We're doing this right now. We're not doing anything else. Focus on. Thank you. So it's got the same kind of holographic look on it, but it's ribbed kind of like mermaid scales or just diamonds. It's just diamonds. But this is like a super cute fluffy brush and it actually has like a like a pink undertone tint to it. It's actually pretty cool. Nice. It feels nice in the hand like it feels like a little bit chunky right here when you're holding it in in between your thumb and your index finger, but it does have like a nice grip to it with the added ribbage. Let's get that going. Yeah. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Um, this is available. Oh, I don't know. They didn't include that. Um I know it's on their website, and I know you can get some of the Moda brushes at Walmart. I know they are available there. I don't know if all of these ones are, but I do know the uh, Total Face Flip Kit that I'm going to be showing in a little bit. That is available at Walmart. But that is the fluffy brush. Then we are going to this one, which is, oh, that's cute. So on here, it shows like highlight and all of that jazz and it's also got their logo on the other side but this is that one so it's very smooth very soft feels really nice on the skin actually and it's very light to hold it's not heavy heavy which you don't want a heavy brush when you're working with makeup and your face you want it to be nice and light then this one is the precision angle brush so it's like this nice, you can see the slight angle right there on it. Not bad, eh? The next one is the angle brush. And you can see that right there. Let's get up close for you. I forgot to turn off the... Um, the autofocus like the color balance sorry about that so it's kind of like changing weird colors on me but that is the angle brush very nice fine tip actually looks really really pretty should be really nice once you have like product on it to get that nice defined brow there's that let me just pop this back in the packaging Do you guys enjoy these live streams? Like, not a lot of YouTubers do them. And I figure, why not try and do makeup tutorials and everything like that in live stream? Because then you actually, like, look forward to watching my videos. It's, like, not just another makeup video coming out that, like, I post. It's, like, oh, she's actually live right now doing makeup, doing this. And I can actually talk to her right now and... I thought, I thought that'd be pretty cool instead of doing like more pre-film stuff and then upload it to YouTube. Sure, it's better quality and I can edit things that I don't want out of it, but I just feel like this is more like of a nice one-on-one -on -one with you. Not sure if you guys like that idea or not, but look, I got, I got, I got wig hair in my face. Okay. I'm not sure if you like that idea or not, but let me know. This wig is doing crazy things. I really should have straightened it before I filmed this. Like, look at this. It's doing crazy things from being in a box. The next one that I have is this. I shouldn't put these on my keyboard because I'm going to accidentally type something that doesn't know it. I'm going to put them over here. Right over there. <laughs> Okie dokie. So the next one is the Precision Powder Kit. This is the Prismatic two-piece one. So nice angle, super cute. 
I, it's still got like that same kind of look to it, the, the, the ribbed look. But these are actually really, really super cute. They kind of remind me of those, uh, like, I can't remember the name of them, but like those high-end, super high-end brushes that are angled. They remind me of that, but these are like way cuter because look how it like matches my wig almost. Look at that. That's like super cute. Okay, so with it, it comes with, let's get close here, large pre precision powder, bu powder brush. I cannot speak right now. Use this large angular brush to apply translucent, translucent or tinted powder all over the face to achieve a natural finish. Blend out makeup with small circular motions. Then right here, we have this small precision powder brush and apply powder to detail areas of the face with this smaller version of the 805. Also ideal to easily apply blush or contour. I'm going to open this bad boy up. Probably hurt myself while doing so. Okay. And we're going to get up close and personal with these bad boys. Oh, that's so cute. The background of it is just like this cool holographic paper. It's got little stars on it. Look at that. That's so cool. I know it was supposed to like stay in the box and whatnot, but I actually think it's super cute. I wonder if I could like cut strips into it and use it for like those fake eyelashes and like crazy glam looks. That'd actually be pretty cool. Having like holographic star eye lashes. That'd be really neat. Put that over there and I will take these out. Okay, so when they're in the packaging, you can see they're like a very, very thick handled brush. Oh, that's so soft. Oh, it's so smooth. It feels nice. It does not feel heavy. It's got that Moto logo on it and the crazy holographic style ombre look is all down the handle and up the brush, and then you got the two color on the actual brush head. Look how dense that is. It's got a lot of, a lot of little hairs in there. Let's get real close, you see that? Look at all those, look at all those little hairs. It's so smooth though, I really like that. I bet that'd be amazing with like blending stuff out. Okay, this next one is the big one. It is the same softness as the other, like super, super soft, like velvety smooth. Same Moda logo on it. And then it's got also the same ombre colors on the brush head, down the actual handle and up to the head. And it is super dense, just like the other one. Like, you can't see through that. It's just all brush, all bristles. Super excited for that. Like, so fluffy. Like, so soft. I'll have like an actual tutorial of me using each one of these on their own. It's just right now I'm just doing the unboxing to show you what I received. Okay, let's get that over there with the others. Then I have this, oh, I forgot to tell you, sorry, that Prismatic Precision Powder Kit, those two brushes, come in a kit that is retails at $24.99. So, excuse me, this unique and innovative set includes two oval style brushes with densely packed synthetic fibers and a dramatic angled edge that has never been seen before in oval brushes. The tipped back neck is sturdy and rigid to help apply makeup with precision. So those retail together for $24.99. This next one I have is Moda Mythical Makeup Brushes. And this is a six piece set, retails for $16.84. You might hear Jack scream in a second. He likes to scream when he pees in his sleep. It's super weird. I think it like scares him or something, but yeah. So this retails for $16.84 at the store or online. This six piece Moda Mythical Kit is what unicorn dreams are made of. Functional brushes with a unique style. We've selected five brushes to com 
complete endless looks and have included a cool holographic pouch, perfect for travel and or at home on your vanity. Okay, so this has another holographic pouch like the first one. These are super cute. Look at that, they're all pink and pretty. So on the back here, let's get close. We've got this blush brush to find your cheeks for perfectly blended results. Then we got the complexion brush, create an even natural finish with dream, with, <laughs> with cream or powder foundation. Then we have the domed shadow, which is apply eyeshadow smoothly to define eyes. Then we got the precise crease brush, which is perfect for precision blending in the crease of the eye. Then we have an angled eyeliner brush, soft angle brush with a chisel edge for a precise line at the lash line or brows. We'll open this bad boy up so we can see what it's like. Ugh. Come on, get out of here. Okay. So, comes with the super cute holographic bag and the Moda logo on it. Then the brushes are this super duper cute, like, unicorn horn like look at that like that's adorable and super soft they got that unicorn horn style ridge on the actual handle then on the actual brush it tells you what they do so this one is of course the blush brush and if you get real up close you can see look at that oh wait that's not supposed to be there i'm wrong i thought it was unicorn no, it's just plastic. Okay. Okay. My, my bad. My bad. I thought it was a unicorn. The unicorn's just in the, um, this mythical C of the name. I thought it was going to be super cute. Okay. But then the head of these brushes, it's got these crazy different colors. So it's got like the pink, the natural, actual color of the brush, then the purple to like a blue. And then it goes all the way on the inside as well. Like, look at that. Let's try and get my face out of it so it focuses. There we go. Look at how pretty that is. I really like that. Then it is the domed shadow brush. So there's this one. Look at that. Very dense and thick to really pack on the shadow. Really nice. They actually feel really nice and light in the hand, not too heavy. Then we have the angle eyeliner brush. So it's got the same exact, I'm trying to get it to not focus on my face and focus on this friggin' thing. Okay, so there is the angle brush. Nice and thin and precise, and it has the exact same ombre, purple to blue, pink color on the bristles. Super cute. Next is the crease brush, so, oh, itchy nose. Up close and personal with this too. You can focus, focus, focus. Do your job, camera. Do your job, thank you. So it's got this thick dome-like blending brush to it. It's got the colors all the way through like the other ones. But there's that. They all feel really super soft and nice and like they fit well in the hand to apply makeup, that'd be nice. Like they're almost too pretty to like, to like use. <laughs> use those ones all the time, awesome. So they are like really nice brushes to use. But they're just so cute, I don't wanna dirty them. Like the color combination on the top of them is just so cute that I don't want to use them. I don't want to dirty them. I'm like a brush collector. I like to have brushes on display and there's like a certain few that I actually use because brushes just get so adorable lately and I just don't want to dirty them and have them, the hairs fall out and just, I just want to keep them forever. So here is the complexion brush. So up close, here's the bristles. Let's get that to focus on it. You gonna do your job? 
Do your job. Come on. I believe in you. I believe in you. Come on. Come on. Okay, fine. Don't focus then. But this is this one. Very thick, very full, and super soft. I really like that collection. It's friggin' adorable. The color combination of everything, like the handle to the actual tip of the brushes, it's just super cute. I like it. I'm not sure if I'll actually end up using these or just put them on display because they're just so adorable. Okay, okay. Now, last but not least, we have the Moda 7 piece total face flip kit. Now I've actually seen these at Walmart and these retail for $19.99. Great for travel or home use. Keep these smaller purple Moda face brushes organized in the accompanying travel case available in six different colors. Includes powder, foundation, angled shader, smoky eye, brow, and lip brushes. I love purple. Purple's my favorite color. So I'm super happy that I got these. I'm just obsessed with purple. But yeah, on the back, let's go over this. So for here, we've got the powder, which is ideal for applying all over powder to your face. We got the foundation brush, which is perfect for liquid or cream foundation. Then we have the angle shader, apply eyeshadow evenly. Then we have smoky eye, which is a very fine tip brush. Apply eyeshadow close to the lash line, extending slightly at the outer corner. Then brow liner, perfect for eyebrows or eyeliner. And pointed lip, achieve a smooth, even lip application with that brush. So those are that. Super cute. I love the color. All of these are 100% vegan and cruelty free, which is a super big bonus. No animals are being hurt. Uh, use gentle shampoo and lukewarm water. Reshape and lie flat to dry completely for best results. Alrighty, let's open this one up and get some up close look of it. Oh, there we go. That's actually a super cute little little bag that comes with it. Woo, the box is going to fall over. Okay. So here is the little travel bag that comes with it. It's got a little, little carrying handle. How cute is that? That's adorable. And on the actual Velcro strap is the Moda logo. And opening it up is these little elastics to put your brushes into. So each brush has their own little elastic band holder. It's super cute. Let's get up close and personal with these bad boys. So the first one, oh my ears hurt. First one, ooh, it's got like this, okay. You know Nars Cosmetics, how they have the, how like all of their products have that weird rubber soft velvet thing on the outside. I don't even know how to describe it, but that on Nars products, that their container, that feel of it, that's what's on this. It's like a smooth, rubbery feel. It's actually very nice to hold. I love that. So this is the powder brush. So it's got black hair to purple. Super dense, super soft, and fluffy. Next, we have the foundation brush. So this is a flat with a little bit of an angle at the tip. Nice and thick and dense like the other one. Also on it, let me flip this over. On it, it also shares the foundation on the handle so you know exactly what it's for. Next one is the angle shader brush. And as you guys can see, there is that angle. I wish it would stop focusing on my face and just focus on these brushes. Like, focus on the brush, thank you. So it's got that angle to it. Very nice. That's a nice brush. Let's 
Next is the Smoky Eye, which is that densely populated bristle one. So a very, very fine tip to it. So that'll get like right in the creases, right, right up in the lash line for you. Following that, we have the brow brush, which is a fine, fine tip angle end. So get up close for that one too. It's got the same like look to it with the black to purple ombre on the actual bristles. Next we have the pointed lip brush. So this is kind of like a smaller, thinner version of the foundation brush. So here you go. That right there is the lip one. So as you guys can see, when I turn it to the side, it uh, it's thin and then it's got the fat, thicker part on the, on the other side. So you can apply a perfect lip color to your luscious lips. Yeah. These are actually really, really smooth. I love that whole NARS feel to the handle, like that soft, plastic I don't even know like I said I don't know how to describe it but I absolutely love the feel to these brushes they're super light and they feel nice in the hand oh, I love these these are another pair that I just want to put on display I don't want to use them why do you do this to me don't give me cute brushes so I don't want to use them <laughs> okay I'm gonna put you back in your box for now until I find a display to put you guys in Here we go. Is that bad boy back in its box? And that's everything. So I went over the. Oh, let me just grab these back over here to show you everything that we went through. Okay. So we went through the prismatic brushes. We went through through the Moda Pro face kit face flip kit one went through the moda mythical brushes which are super cute like a unicorn horn and then also the moda mythical sculpting pixie kit i really like these like the feel of the handle as well as the whole like holographic look to the handles they're super cute once again brushes that i don't want to use because they're so freaking cute and the makeup brush cleaner. That is everything in this Moda Maven box that I received from them. Yeah. I'm so excited to use these. So this video is just an unboxing of the products and brushes just to show you what I've received. And then I'm, I'm not sure like if you guys want to actually see uh, live stream makeup tutorials with certain brush sets or if you would prefer me to actually do like a detailed video where i can edit out stupid stuff that i don't want in the video so i'm not sure if this whole live stream or pre-filmed is better to give you guys let me know in the comments in the live chat right there what is better for that but i'm actually thinking of doing like live streams more often not a lot of youtubers i said this in the beginning of the stream not a lot of youtubers do live streams like some do maybe like once a week once a month or maybe even once a year or not at all they just upload makeup tutorials and unboxings so i think there's like such a small niche for live streaming makeup tutorials and reviews so i think that like it's better to live stream this stuff and show you guys what's going on because I feel as if it's better. Like there's more of a connection and more of a community when you actually see me talking right here, talking to you right now. I feel like it's more of a bonding time than a pre-filmed done up video. I of course will do my pre-filmed videos because I can't do my like crazy special effects intros. like on a live stream it's it's fairly like you can't even you just press the button and you film 
So I will be doing like special effects tutorials still regularly, but I just don't know what to use live streaming for because it's very convenient just like pop on a wig, do some brows, and then maybe film a tutorial for you or just talk about stuff that I've received. I'd really like to know from you what you would like to see. Would you prefer live streaming just to be unboxings and chit chats? Or do you think that maybe live stream should be for a lot more things and makeup tutorials, like pre-filmed makeup tutorials, a little less than my live streaming? I feel like, I, I, I don't know, like I don't see a lot of YouTubers being, being on live stream actually talking to their subscribers and, and their community. I don't know. I feel like this is better because I can actually talk to you right here in the comments and chit chat about everything that's going on or actually do my makeup in that moment and you guys are watching me right then and there. But it's difficult because I'm Canadian, right? So my time zone could be different from your time zone and it might be very difficult for a lot of people to log on and see my live streams. Like, I really appreciate each one of you that has tuned into this live stream, but as you can see, only six people are watching and not all my subscribers can watch my live stream at that time because maybe they're sleeping, maybe they're at school, who knows what's happening. So I don't know how I feel about doing a lot more live streams and less pre-filmed, but I'd really like to hear what you think about the whole pre-film live stream situation. Be awesome to know if you guys prefer this whole one-on-one -on -one experience and actually talking to me right here. But yeah, I don't know what else to talk about besides that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed everything that was in this box and all the brushes. Like I said, you can find them on their website at motobrush.com as well as I know some of them you can find at Walmart. I've seen the total face flip kit at Walmart but they're super affordable, super nice quality. I loved each one of these brushes, like to the point where I don't wanna use them, I just wanna put them on display because they're just so freaking cute that I don't wanna use them and dirty them. But that's just my situation, that's, that's how I feel. <laughs> and yeah, I wanted to do this unboxing because I wanted to be able to do actual video of me using each different brush in a makeup tutorial and that kind of falls into the whole should I do live stream makeup tutorials should I do pre-filmed makeup tutorials because I want to know what you would more like what you would prefer more because after I film this of course it's going to go on to YouTube and all my subscribers are able to see it but I just want everyone to get that experience of being on a live stream with me and actually being able to talk to me one-on-one -on -one. so those are just my thoughts I'd love to hear what your thoughts are and yeah, not really sure what else to say, but when uh, this video goes live after this live stream, like when it goes live, uh, when it processes and becomes a video on my channel, uh, I will actually update the description bar for it and I'll put all the links for each one of these brushes, where you can find them, the actual prices. So everything will be in the description bar down below, as well as I think I have a coupon code for Moda brushes. I actually think I have a coupon code. I think it's like Caitlin20 or Caitlin K. You can find it, find it in the description bar down below under my coupon codes, but that doesn't help me out. It, it's just, it's for you guys to save money. So if everyone wants to save money, go ahead, right? I love your hair color. Uh, thank you so much. This is actually like my favorite short haired wig. It's from Lush Wigs. That's my fave. Cause yeah, you can just, when your hair is looking kind of, uh, cruddy underneath you can just pop off the pop on a wig and look look better you know i uh, didn't even know that you were going live today yeah see that's what i mean like i posted the live stream yesterday that i was going on today and it doesn't always send notifications to my subscribers no one ends up finding out so i don't know how to make that better or how to change that so more people can tune in and join me and us but uh, unboxing or makeup tutorial. Yeah, I think either or is nice because like I said, it's the one-on-one. -on -one. But yeah, 
that's it. The Moda Maven unboxing of brushes. Links are in the description bar down below. Uh, I'm probably going to head off of here because I've already been filming for 45 minutes. So if you tuned in late, just go back in the video and you will see previous things that I checked out and showed you up close and personal in 1080p. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do for you guys, give you super up close, crazy, my macro focus stuff. I didn't want to give you shitty live streams. I wanted to give you actual like good content live streams. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, stay beautiful, okay?